Meet John. He's currently a patient in critical care and is struggling to get a good night's sleep. Critical care is a busy place and a number of factors disturb patients during the night, interrupting their normal day-night routines. For example, light staying on late into the night, recurrent patient care activities, conversations near the bedside, telephones ringing, equipment alarming. So it's hardly surprising that sleep deprivation is common in patients in critical care and this can increase their risk of delirium. Patients with delirium can have disorganised thoughts and hallucinations and may fluctuate between restlessness and withdrawal. And this affects more patients than you think. In a recent local research study, a third of patients developed delirium whilst in critical care. Yet it is frequently unrecognised. And staff often fail to perform an assessment of delirium on patients. The good news is that by making simple adjustments to your practice, you can dramatically improve patient's sleep and reduce the risk of them developing delirium. What is protected sleep time? It's a process to allow staff to focus their efforts on creating an environment which promotes a good night's sleep for patients. It's about minimising disruption to the patient by considering what they are seeing, sensing and hearing during the night. How can you protect sleep time? By ensuring lights are turned down between 11pm and 7am and dimming light from equipment. Offering eye masks to patients with a RAS score higher than minus four. By grouping patient care activities to allow two to three hour blocks of undisturbed sleep. By introducing yourself and reminding John of the date, time and place, you are reducing his likelihood of developing delirium. Remember to check regularly for signs of delirium so that it can be treated promptly. What else can you do? Turn down the volume on bedside equipment, phones and bleeps, and make sure any noise is dealt with promptly. Close doors and bins quietly, and ensure all conversations between staff are conducted away from the bedside. Offer earplugs to patients with RAS scores higher than minus four. Protected sleep time is crucial for improving sleep and reducing delirium for critical care patients. With these measures in place, we can help John and others like him to get a good night's sleep. Seeing, sensing, hearing. Help protect critical care sleep time.